I had just like one friend generally throughout my time in college. But it wasn't like the same friend. It was just, I'm just trying to say like I had no friends. So I read, I read a lot. And I connected with characters and books in the way some people might connect with like friends, maybe. And my writing just came out of wanting to reproduce that effect for myself, like reading my own writing, and I guess for other people. For the stories in bed, I wrote while I was in college, and I would have a workshop, so every month or so, it will be my turn to turn in a story. So just during that entire month, I would just work on a story every day, mostly in NYU's library, Bope's library. When I left the library, I'd print it out, and like on a train, I would mark it up, and at home, I would do the same thing, because there would just be nothing else to do. I didn't have a TV, and it was in Jersey City. I probably spent six hours a day on a story, thinking about it or like working on it. I thought I was writing what I wanted to read. That's what I would think when I didn't know how to phrase something or end a story. I'll just remind myself I'm writing what I want to read. Everything in my life was set up for this activity. It was just the only thing I felt like I could do. I started viewing it as a collection maybe after I had like four stories. And I was reading Lori Morris' Like Life a lot. Her table of contents just was like really satisfying to me, the way the stories were balanced. And I would put my stories in like a table of contents and think about like just think about it as a collection. It felt normal when I started sending them out and they were getting rejected because I had read a lot of stories about rejection where I felt like just every writer gets rejected like a lot. Each story would be rejected like 20 to 30 times by magazines. After I graduated NYU, I continued working at the library for like a year and then for a while, I was shoplifting batteries in moleskin journals and selling them on eBay. Then I also got a personal assistant job for this guy starting a jet charter company. I did a lot of readings throughout this time, probably like a like hundred and three years. But most of my interaction with people was through my blog. I had a blog called Reader of depressing books, and I was interacting with a lot of people through that. I had finished my story collection, and that fall, I think, I got an agent. I was mailing it out to agents, and like two agents wanted to represent me. And then he sent it out to publishers. Bad was rejected by like 20 to 25 publishers. But independent of the agent, I had also sent Bed to Dennis Laurie Johnson at Melville House. So I finished Bed first, and then I wrote poetry book. Then a poetry book was published, then Bed was published. But also, sort of in the same time frame, I started working on a novel, my first novel, E.E.E. -E -E. I sent it to Melville House, and they had the idea to publish the two books at the same time. During this period of my first few books, I was just encountering the media. And my intuition of how to deal with the media apparently was to like just play with it. So I did things like I printed a lot of stickers that said Britney Spears on them. And me and some people, some friends, went to Gawker's office and put them on their door. There seemed to be a lot of people who didn't like my, how I was on the internet, like viewing me as very self-promoting and everything. And I thought all this through 
And I was just confident, like, this was fine. This is how a person who has thought things through would want to deal with the media. I remember the period when I was writing bad fondly, even though it was a pretty depressing time. I was alone all the time, and I was able to, like, build up my view of the world and not have to compromise it in, like, small talk or something. So I was able to strongly have this worldview that there's no good or bad in art. There's just preferences. And it seemed like just completely obvious to me then that of course there's no good or bad. Each person's gonna like different things for different reasons.